Now some people believe that trigeminal neuralgia is the most painful health condition somebody can have. Now in this video, I'm going to share some alternative medicines to, to treat it, relieve the pain, as well as how not to get it in the first place. Now, Before I get started, uh, down below I'm giving away a free video-based guide on using various supplements and alternative medicines. Now let me ask you a question. What system in your body is mainly responsible for pain? Well yeah, it's the nervous system. And it informs us that there's a problem, like, hey, you just put your hand on something very, very hot, remove your hand now, stuff like that. Now, let me ask you a question. What happens if this system goes haywire or doesn't work correctly? Yeah, it's not good. It can continually give somebody pain. And that's what happens with this condition. Every so often, shooting pains erupt in the face from a nerve called the trigeminal nerve. Now, some people describe it as a burst of, of sharp electric um, pain that can last a couple seconds to minutes. And the worst part is it op it's oftentimes it's, it's unpredictable. And this makes any activity not as enjoyable because it can be interrupted with some sharp pains. So it's horrible. Now, when it comes to treatments, can you guess what some of the most common treatments are? Yeah, it's prescription drugs. Uh, which are commonly prescribed to treat a lot of problems, especially in the United States. And they could be effective, that's true, but of course there are some negative side effects that could take place that should be considered. And next up is, is surgery, which can also be effective, but the drawback is it does cost money and there, there's some risk involved. Now when it comes to alternative medicine, one idea is something called acupuncture. And in theory, how it works is by helping energy, also known as chi, flow easier and better. Now, some people believe that this chi energy gets, uh, if it gets disturbed, it can cause problems like diseases. And not everyone agrees that acupuncture really fights diseases or whatever. Um, but there's a lot of people out there, and, and there's some studies that show they can definitely reduce pain um, from a wide variety of health problems, including this one. Now, a second um, idea would be visiting a chiropractor. And a higher, how a chiropractor may be able to help is by, is by realigning the bones in the upper spine. And the nerve that causes the pain, called the trigeminal nerve, passes along the first bone in the neck, called the atlas, um, when it heads to the, the facial area. So by realigning it, um, you know, it could help. Uh, if, if something's pressing on the nerve, the whole realignment uh, can help with uh, relieving the pressure and possibly the pain. So that's an idea. Now, of course, apart from something pressing on it, there could be other triggers or culprits as well. But it really comes down to a nerve that is just not operating right. And also, there's something called alpha stim therapy. Have you ever heard of this stuff? It could relieve nerve pain. And how it works is by sending out small electric currents through the nervous system. Now, some people feel it does help. Uh, but uh, more studies are really needed to determine how effective it, it truly is and you know maybe it's a placebo or something but uh, it, it's worth a shot and it, it may work. Now if you're interested, um, oh, in case you don't know what a placebo is, it just means like like a say I give you a pill and I said that it worked and because you thought it would work you take it and you, you think it does work, it's just like a fake pill, that's what a placebo is in case you don't know. Now if you're interested, if you're interested in preventing uh, nerve damage as, as well as heal it, uh, you could try omega-3 fats and they definitely can help. In a clinical study at Queen Mary University in England, uh, researchers actually isolated nerve cells uh, by mice and what they did is they actually caused damage to the cells and, and they also starved some of them oxygen which of course killed some of them off. But they noticed that you know nerve cells that are rich with omega-3 fats has significant protection and a decrease in cell death. So there's definitely evidence that it helps serves uh, protect cells. And um, another idea to prevent uh, nerve problems is by taking a, a good multivitamin supplement. There are certain vitamins such as you know, the B vitamins that play big roles in nerve health. And in fact, low levels of vitamin B12 have been linked to facial neurology according to the, the 14th Congress of an International Headache Society. 
So as you know, there, there's tons of choices out there when it comes to supplements. There's tons. And they all say kind of the same thing. Their, their item is the best thing there is. And how do you know? I mean, which, which product do you go with? There's so many of them. And well, to make things a little bit easier for you in your life, like I did talk about, I created this whole report and video guide all about supplements and alternative medicine that talks about you know, what things to look for in a supplement brand, as well as 10 signs that a supplement, you know, you should probably stay away from that one. And ingredients to, to avoid and some other really cool stuff like nifty alternative medicines for different ailments and, and stuff that can help you out. And it's free, so why not? And it's fun too. I had fun making it. So if you want to check it out, just click on the link below this video. <laughs> this video is too long. I try to make these videos short, but sometimes it's hard. And um, anyways, I really appreciate you watching this video. Please leave a comment with your thoughts. And if as always, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. That really helps me. And have a great rest of your day. Bye.